I don't know for myself how far forward I was able to look at that point in my life. I think I was in a real situation of, of immediate, how to make things better immediately. Uh, I know for myself that seeing how uh, projects like the People's Potato evolved and came kind of out of of the work that or became you know a continuation of that work to to food accessibility i think that a lot of the discussions we were having did get addressed and and brought forward in other ways and i, I think that i think it's really cool that it didn't just stay a store that a lot of the concerns that came up were able to be addressed in other ways even if you know even if it still serves as a store. Um, I think it's cool that other projects were able to come forward that talked about really the question of food accessibility going beyond people who can afford to buy um, their food and plan out a weekly meal and, ha and have the time to make their own food. I, I, yeah, I think it's great that things like People's Potato came out of it to give alternatives to people on campus, um, to, you know, just the cafeteria style food that was here. Um, I'm not sure, I, it would be interesting to look back at, at all the things we wrote. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time, yeah, developing these kind of, you know, mission plans or, or policies that I don't even remember what it was, five-year plans that I, I'm not sure if what we planned out uh, got instated in the end. Um, it seems like, it seems like the project was relevant because it's still going. Um, and it seems like there's still a community that's being served by these projects, which is awesome. Um, and it seems like, you know, there could be maybe, I mean, I'm not a Concordia student anymore. Uh, I'm not involved in Concordia anymore, but I would be interested in knowing if the administration recognizes how necessary it is and how I think actually student poverty has probably gotten worse in, in the past 10 years uh, with, you know, tuition going up and everything. So I think having access to these types of programs and, and having access to affordable food is even more relevant than it was maybe 20 years ago. Um, and so I think it's important that, that the vision of, of what these organizations can be continues developing with the knowledge in mind that, that student poverty is, is a problem that's getting worse, not better, and that we have to be looking at, at solutions to making sure that that students aren't starving, basically. Um, and that I think that's a responsibility of the university. That if, I understand, you know, costs are going up for everybody, but if tuition is gonna keep increasing the way it is, then we have to recognize that, that more and more students will choose paying tuition before eating. Um, and that having access to services or, or people willing to work on making food accessible to students is actually vital to the survival of the university.